Turbocharged trading on shares of Tesla Friday ahead of the electric car maker's inclusion in the S&P 500 on Monday. Let's discuss the stock's prospects and the implications for the index. We're joined by Ken Kamen of Mercadian Asset Management from Yardley, PA. Good afternoon. Welcome back, Ken. Thank you. It's supposed to be the largest issue ever put on the S&P 500. Um, what will it mean, the inclusion of Tesla for S&P index investors? Well, what's really interesting is, you know, there's always this conversation between active or passive. I think this shows that there's really no such thing as really passive investing, that somewhere, someone in the food chain is making a decision about what allocation should be there. What's interesting to me, though, is that now that Tesla's trading at what is may or may not be an inflated price, but certainly a price that's risen over the last year on some expectation of it being in the index. People are actually buying high. They're being forced to buy the security at, you know, at a relatively high price from its recent history. And that's an interesting thing because the whole object of investing is to buy low and sell high. So I think this is a real good wake up opportunity for people that have been, you know, kind of leaving their portfolios on autopilot and just indexing to recognize that you're not always owning securities, you know, at the levels you want and you're being forced to own them where the index does. And if you just look at things in aggregate, I guess it's one thing. But eventually, when momentum isn't the thing that moves Wall Street all the time, I think stock picking is going to matter. And this selection really points that out in my mind. So are you concerned about the potential volatility of uh, Tesla? Well, what's interesting is Tesla's like four or five times more volatile than the S&P, you know. So they're now going to add something in there that, uh, you know, uh, every $11 move in Tesla approximately is a, another, it's a one-point S&P move. So they're adding some real volatility there, and people are going to have to recognize that at some extent what they see in the S&P is not what they were seeing all along uh, as far as, you know, the moves going. It is really interesting, though, because they're going to be knocking out a bunch of companies, or at least let me say this, people are going to have to knock out a lot of their portfolio portfolios to get the money to buy the Tesla if they're going to emulate this. So it could have a, an interesting effect to make other things very good buys that might be coming out. So I, I just, you know, I've always had this problem with buying a huge basket of stocks and forgetting about fundamentals. Fundamentals matter. And, uh, you know, I just think it's important that people look at that and, and recognize that this is happening now. Well, you say fundamentals matter. Are you insinuating that this could, could perhaps be a bubble stock that's added to the S&P? Well, you know, the reality of it is kind of buy on the rumor, sell on the news might be one of the oldest adages on Wall Street. And, uh, you know, the stock has had a real run up. And, and Tesla certainly, uh, I'm not taking a position on the company, but, you know, it certainly seems like it's priced for perfection and priced for things to go exactly the way they hope they're going to go. So um, it seems that if, if the stock is going to have a correction, it could have an oversized effect on the S&P 500. And people need to recognize that. Well, it's expected that uh, um, uh, funds will be buying a lot at the close of uh, trading today. Should investors avoid the last hour of trading? I think, yeah, I mean, absolutely. And today's it's not only that, it's quadruple witching and all these other types of things. I think that people kind of almost have to ignore the close because, as you said earlier, we've never seen a company with this larger market capitalization being added to the index. So uh, who knows what wackiness is going to happen in the last 10 minutes of trading when they have market on close orders. There's that FOMO, fear of miss missing out. Should investors avoid picking up a Tesla today? People might be thinking, hey, it's going to be included in the S&P 500. A lot of buying. Why not pick up today? I think it might be the opposite. I think that buying's already happened. And after, you know, the buy on the rumor, sell on the news type thing, Monday might be a different story. So I'd actually maybe be prepared for the S&P to be down on Monday as, as people kind of jockey for uh, position as they rebalance portfolios. Because it's not only the index, it's all the derivatives that happen to that, all the hedge funds, all the emulators, all the other knock-on type of investments, which quite frankly might have a much bigger effect on the market on Monday than the Tesla. But I don't, I don't want to also leave it, people with the impression that this is some watershed major event. This is just some temporary technical noise in the market, and people are going to have to recognize that the S&P is likely to become a more volatile security. All right. Thanks, Ken, for your uh, thoughts. Thank you. Our thanks to Ken Kamen of Mercadian Asset Management. I'm Fred Kantayama in New York. This is Reuters, and have a wonderful weekend.